1798, it was a well-established premises um, when uh, General Humbert marched into town with uh, Sarazen and the United Irishmen Rebellion. General Humbert actually stayed here in 1798. He made the Humbert Inn his headquarters while he stayed in Castlebar. One of the few defeats of the British on Irish soil. And it was a very important historical event. Sometimes you'd wonder, wonder did General Humbert sit in this corner? Or, you know, was that brick there? Or somebody wrote into something, you know, how long was that there? And you really do feel like you're sharing a history. It's a very unique pub. It's a very unique feeling. 1994, I came back from uh, America and I was looking for a, a, a public house in, in a good location and a, a, nice, a nice kind of public house. There's a great atmosphere about the place, great for the people coming into the place. What you'd like, you know, if you've been working in behind bars and, and, and things like, you know, you know what you want, you know. I just thought there was character about it. You just come in the door, there's something about it. You could be on your own, but you didn't feel like you were on your own, you know. Class. We got to know John Collington. We got to meet his sense of humour. He has got this absolutely deadly, uh, spontaneous, quick, killer remark. Sense of humour. He is so witty. He's so on the ball. He it just contributes to the whole time. No matter who you were or where you came from or whatever, he welcomed you into the place like you were a special customer all the time. He had a friendly chat for everyone and he, he dealt with everyone the same. You'd be missed because it's very rare to find a character like that, like you know, who's, who's put in so much into the place, like you know. And um, to himself and Helena, Lord Rester, like and Kate is carrying on traditions here, like in the staff, like we're always very friendly, like you know. Because they spent so much time in America before they came here, John and Helena. They're very much into their decorations, you know, the Americans go over the top. Like even now, I mean, the, the Guinness paraphernalia is still up, but um, Valentine's Day you would have the little candles, you'd have the love hearts, you'd have all of that. And then you'd have St. Patrick's Day and you'd have shamrocks all over the place and leprechauns. But they went to town on decorating the place. And Kate, no more than Helena, they've just, Kate's just got this warm welcoming. She, she make you feel welcome, she make you feel at home. And uh, even though Helena can't be here, she used to sit at the, the window over there near the phone box. And I'm, I'm sure she's not too far away. In a time where there are super pubs and, you know, making money seems to be the be all and the end all, uh, John always brought a, a sense of uh, family, of community. John will never be forgotten for what he's done to this place and for what he's done to the town of Castlebar in general. The music tradition here has been absolutely amazing. Um, our biggest claim to fame, I suppose, would be Mary Black started here, originally with a band called La Salle, which is a little known um, fact, and then moved on to General Humbert. And she played a good 10 years with General Humbert before she actually achieved her final fame. We were hoping that she could be here on General Humbert, but it's just their schedule wouldn't allow it. But there have been many, many marvellous bands here over the years. We had uh, tri sessions on a Sunday evening, banjos and, 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 and uh, fiddles and the whole lot of it. In 79, I remember uh, playing the Humbert with, uh, well, going in very sheepishly with, to meet uh, a few guys all playing together, beautiful traditional musicians. There wouldn't have been a massive amount of trad music around this section of Mayo and south of here at the time, but I remember coming in a few times and the boys have been so welcoming and it was just such a beautiful spot with lovely original limestone flags on the ground and a lovely arches, which I love. I, this is a real antique piece, you know, and a lovely, lovely pub. I got married on a Friday in 1990 and we had a big wedding party here in the Humbert after I got married in the Welcome Inn. We were here for two days playing traditional music and that's what it meant to us at the time. But the, the Humbert is a, has been a great pub in Castlebar down through the years and I learned how to drink in here. Many, many happy years of playing music in the place, many happy memories. And they all came flooding back last night when we did our little piece. I'm lucky to have my head on my shoulders again after last night's experience. But uh, to me, that's the Humbert, and it'll be missed, very sorely missed. And hopefully, Castle Bar will continue a tradition of live music and we'll have some place to go to. If it doesn't, then it'll be very sad to see this place go. Somebody turn around and shout a plan of funky music, white boy.
What I'm going to miss the most here is the routine, you know. I'll miss routine. That's probably what I'll miss. Most of all, in my life, I'll miss Christmas Eve. Because Christmas Eve, to me, in the Hubbard, is Casper. And I tell you, around the world, you can go to America, you can go anywhere around the world, and there'll never be a better place than the Hubbard Hill. has been a very famous pub in Castlebar for a long number of years. It has some very happy memories in it. A lot of people, not even from the town, have come here and had many of an enjoyable night and many of an enjoyable drink. And I think uh, it has been great for the town. Where friendships are made, where you have your first pint, stonework, the wood fires, the trip up the stairs to the ladies' loo. It's just the best pub and it'd be very, very sad if it changes. Go to 
absolutely have to mention yeah. Robert, young Robert Connington, Bobby. We have basically watched Robert, Bobby, grow up in, in the bar and he's turned out to be such a fine little gentleman. He's absolutely lovely. He'll go up and he'll talk. He's not cheeky or intrusive. He'll come up, he'll ask you how you are and figure out where you're from and ask you a few questions. He's gone around to all the customers. We've watched him grow up. He's such a lovely little fella. When we were here first, Miss Severine and Robbie, Robbie was about a year and a half. And he'd be down here at the fire, chatting with leaving search lads and girls coming in. And, and, and I love him. I said, what are you doing? And what are you at? And they're talking about soccer and talking about football and talking about whatever else. Like that. And it stood, it stood by him like, you no, know, he's good with people. And they're all painted black No colors anymore I want them to turn black Maybe they might be the way I'm trying not to face the fact Not easy waking up when your whole world is black Shh. No more will my green seagulls turn a deeper blue I could not foresee this thing happening to you If I look hard enough into the setting sun My love will laugh with me before the morning comes Everybody say na 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 Before we go, can I have, can I have, shh, 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 shh. listen we just want to give you one minute silence, right? To look around. Hold on now, listen, listen, listen now. One minute silence. Look around these walls, right? And think about the friends that you've met, the crack that you've had, and all the nights that you can't mind either. All the, all the tidings, the upflows, the downflows, everything. Maybe you lost your virginity here. I did. In the jacks, like. So, one minute silence, please. Starting now, just think about it. Think about it, never again. We're never gonna meet up here again. Those of you on drugs are still hearing things, it's all right.
between 15 and 16 just sitting outside waiting to listen to the music and wanting to be in here. And now it's closing and we're all been here for what, five or six years and it's just going. It's just very sad. It's character, it's got great history as well behind it all. And I don't know, but there's no place like it around the town. And it's, yeah. Ooh, just gonna miss it. <laughs> bar would be rather unique for the size of the bar we never needed bouncers now it wasn't perfect situations happened but they were resolved and they were sorted there is a feeling about this place anywhere I've ever been I have never seen anywhere like this I've never seen the decor like it at history over 200 years of history just sitting there in the alcove there with the girls we realized this is actually the last night that we're going to be doing it so it's really nostalgic um, it's an emotional night really everyone's trying to be upbeat about it but it'll be sorely missed in town of Castle Bar. Been busy 12 years, and in all fairness, I've like, been busy, and maybe busier this weekend, I suppose, than than, than any time before that, you know. And it's been it's been steady, it's been rocking and steady, and everything like that. Hello.
Especially an old dad. Let's hear it. Is there one song? Yeah. I'd like to thank Karen Conway for organizing this weekend. She put a lot of work into us, and it's been great. I'd like to thank all the musicians, everybody involved. Victor Brack and Noel and all the guys. I'd like to thank Casey and all the staff. We worked very hard for us. Yeah. But most of all, I'd like to thank everybody out there who supports me has been here for the last 12 years or so. Yeah. 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 Through good and bad and everything, and thank you very much. And thanks again. And I think drink is no good for you guys. It's about time we got off. Yeah. <laughs>
much. We'll see you again in another life. It was a great night. Great. Music was great. The atmosphere was great. We got a new lease of life now again, so I have. Oh, great. I think I'm on holiday this week. There's no, there's no room for the glasses. Michelle has no room for the glasses. She's breaking them all in, in here. So. It was fantastic. A really great night. Emotional, sad, happy, mixed. Next year, everything. The park hasn't finished yet. Very tired. I think we're all very emotionally drained. There's still a feeling. There's like an electric feeling here from everything that was left over. And there's just a lot of memories. And uh, I think it's very much a case of not crying because it's over, laughing because it happened. Our era is over. It's actually somebody else's era to take over now. Yeah. We're not a fraud, we're not a crack like an old dog of the years. That's more important to me than turn the key to the door or anything like that. That's that, that, that my way of looking at it, you know. Can you?